Hey guys, my name is Kimarani, welcome back to more Let's Play, Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we finished up a lot on the surface. In fact, I think we got every single on the surface ship piece, not ship piece, treasure, goodness, this is a Pikmin 1, in the Awakening Wood. And in this episode, we're going to begin the Snagrid Hole. Probably, it's probably the hardest area that we've been to so far, the hardest dungeon we've been to so far. But it's really not that bad, in fact. I think I actually end up having a pretty decent run in this dungeon, not to spoil things. I really should stop talking about what's going to happen in the future, so I'm going to start start not doing that now, if that makes any sense. Um, I originally wanted to have a co-commentator for this video, but I wouldn't be able to have them available by the time I would need another upload, so they're going to be on another one. Um, this episode should be pretty short, we're just going to go through a few of the first sub-levels, um, hopefully things go well. This guy right here, I recommend... Uh, just, uh, just as soon as you can, just load him up with Pikmin. There's no really sneaking up on him. He wakes up when you get close. Um, so I recommend just getting some purples. And he also doesn't stun. But I recommend getting some purples or some reds and just, like, just basically overloading him as quickly as you can. That's the best way to kill him. As you can see right there at the very end, he got a mouthful of Pikmin. But I killed him before it was too late. So we're going to have some white Pikmin carry this back. And we have one more treasure on the sub-level, and that's all we got to do. Uh, but today is Saturday. Excuse me. Now today is not Saturday. Today is Monday. I say I automatically said Saturday because I guess it feels like a Saturday. Today is Monday. It's Memorial Day actually. Happy Mo Happy Memorial Day if I can speak. Um, and I work today. I work from 11:30 to 6, and it's currently 10:37. Um, I really probably shouldn't be recording right now because I need to do a few things before work starts. Uh, before I get to that. 120 Pocos, not bad, and its name is Crystallized Telekinesis. I mean, I, I gotta admit, those marbles are pretty, they are pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of things I need to do at work before I actually start my shift. I need to request some dates off, I also need to make a quick little purchase um, for, my, like for my uniform. And that's really all I gotta do, but I'm guessing it's gonna take me 15 minutes, so I wanna get to work 15 minutes earlier, which means I would leave 15 minutes earlier than I normally would um, for my shift, which means I really need to be leaving like 7 minutes, and I have about 10 more minutes to record. More than that, actually. So I really shouldn't be recording right now, but it'll be okay. I'm not worried about it. I wanted to make sure that this video got out to everybody, so. I have my coffee here, so I might take sips between... I normally only drink coffee in the morning. Well, I drink coffee in the mornings most of the time, but I usually don't record in the morning either, so just kind of have to deal with this little issue. Um, one thing I really do like about this um, dungeon is that it kind of switches the atmospheres like pretty well. Like a moment ago we were in a cave, and now we're kind of out in the open. It doesn't really make any sense, but I mean, hey, I like it. Uh, these guys right here, I really don't trust them because they because they will fly. They can, you know, go a pretty good distance and kill your Pikmin. So I don't really let them live. That's just me personally. Um, yeah, well, it's obviously good to kill them. Um, and then I work all day. And then my family's apparently cooking burgers on the grill. They're like, if you want to have anybody over, go for it. But all my friends already have plans anyway. So I'm probably just going to come home and nap. Because it's, it would have been... I feel like today's going to be a really long day. Any ship that I have that's over five hours is usually pretty long. Um, six and a half hours isn't far off from being a full shift, and it's likely that I'll stay a little bit extra anyways. Um, let's see, anything else I really want to talk about? Uh, well, school's about to end. I'm really excited about that. Um, I have a couple more exams as I discussed in the last video. Um, but these past few days have felt like summer. I've gotten so much sleep over the past three days. I slept ten and a half hours one night. Like, I slept nine another, and I slept nine and a half hours last night. So, I'm doing really, really well. Um, right here, I recommend you get your blues. Uh, not that white that wants to drown. Um, get your blues and just carry them across right here. Uh, you're going to have a decent amount of blues. I really recommend the number that I went in with. I believe I had 30 blues, 30 reds. No, excuse me. 30 blues, um, 30 yellows. I had about 15 or so whites. About 15 or so... Um, purples, more than that, and then very few reds. I recommend bringing in more reds and just proportioning out those numbers, but I recommend having um, about, you probably only need about 20 yellows, but make sure you have a good good amount of blues. Three, 30 blues would be plenty. 
Um, you really don't need to worry about pigment distribution too much in this dungeon. Um, so what I recommend doing is throwing all your pigment over here to the side, because obviously, I mean, you could try to walk them over that platform, but I don't like to risk it, so I just call them over here, throw them, well, throw them over there, and then call, call them over to the side. That's really the best way to do it, to get all the pigment on the side. Um, let's see, and also watch out for the enemies who I can't remember the name of, who have eyes and flowers. I will put the name of, of that on screen right now. Watch out for those guys, there are two of those in the sub-level. Um, but, <clears throat> that's really all I have planned for today, which makes me happy. Um, these past few days have been really relaxing, but I haven't really done that great of a job preparing for my EOCs, and being that today's Monday, which is my last day this weekend, and I start everything tomorrow. Should probably get on that when I get home from work, but I'll be tired, so who knows? Who knows how uh, productive I'm gonna be? We'll see. Okay. Now this right over here, oh I guess we're, I guess I decided to go get that later. We're gonna go kill this guy first. Pretty sure we wouldn't even carry the item in that path, but I just I just wanna kill him right over here. I don't I don't like these guys at all. They're not nice. There you go, just load you on with purples. Heck, that ability is really overpowered. Uh, but I love it so much. Um, anyways, right over here we have, I believe we've actually already gotten a strawberry as an item before, but this one's really, really big. So, I guess this one's a little bit different. Who knows? Um, but I, like I said earlier, I do plan on having a guest over soon, which is going to be really fun. Um, this is a guest that I've never actually had on my channel before, and I met at MAGFest uh, this past year. So, hopefully, hopefully she will be able to join us. Um, I think it'll be fun. Um, I haven't talked to her since MAGFest, but, and I haven't really talked to her all that much, but she's really nice, so, and I need co-commentators. I mean, what are we now, 15 episodes in and I've yet to have a co-commentator? I mean, like, this is blasphemy, I need to have one. Um, I mean, co-commentating, co-commentators co are fun anyways. I was really worried that a red was about to die right there, and I really don't want any reds dying, because I only have eight of them. I don't know how I, why, why I brought so little, I think I was just kind of in a rush at the end of the day to get all my numbers. Um, now this right here, the name suddenly escapes me, but I've had these before. Um, and I really, really, really hate, that's a little plum that's in the middle of it, it's so sour, I hate it so much. Um, I had it when I was on exchange in Japan, and, uh, not my favorite thing in the world, honestly. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna let the blues carry this across, because obviously they're not, they're not smart enough to carry it over the platform. Uh, we're gonna let the blues carry that across, then so we're gonna call the blues back, or at least a decent number of them, I mean, it doesn't, we don't need, I mean, all of them. I'm gonna call everything, oh, not everything, everybody off of that, and throw only blues. And hopefully the pigmen that are just sta that are just standing idle over near where I dropped the strawberry, hopefully they picked it up and they're carrying it back to the base. And it looks like we'll have just enough. Or more than enough. Yep, and they were already carrying it over. Awesome. Combustion berry. Looks like two strawberries and one. That's actually a thing I could talk about. Fruit. Uh, I don't know what my favorite fruit is. I, I like peaches, I guess, but they need to be the right way. Like, I mean, when they're, like, really, really ripe. Or well, not ripe, I guess. I don't know the word for it is. When they're really, like, juicy, that's when they're really good. Um, otherwise, nah, not really all that great. Um, I like strawberries, I guess. I mean, I like pineapples, I don't know. Like, they have a lot of acid, which kind of hurts your tongue. Um, after eating them for a little while. Let's see, I kind of wanted, I really wanted to flower up more Pikmin than just three purples, but I don't feel like carrying everybody across that platform and getting over here, so we're not going to worry about it. We'll flower the rest of those later. Oh, I just realized, they look like they're in the, they're in the shape of a heart, that's kind of cute. And we're going to call it Taste Sensation. I really don't like the plum that's in the middle. Ugh. It's too, it's so sour, it's just, ugh. You have to like, punch it out before you can really eat it. Um, just my opinion. I don't know, some people like the sour plum. I'm not one of those people. And that guy's gonna come try to get us to the very end, but too bad, we're continuing. And I just realized we haven't lost any Pikmin yet. We still have all 100, that's actually pretty good. Um, I usually can't get through this dungeon without losing any Pikmin because, or at least I can't even get up to the boss without losing any Pikmin because there's too many of the little guys who I can't remember. I'm putting their name up on the screen right now. 
Uh, there are too many of those crawling around on the ground. They just come up out of nowhere and they eat your Pikmin. This guy is extremely annoying. Um, now, my first playthrough, like my practice playthrough of this, um, I got really, really unlucky with the placement of this Swoop and Stitch bug. And an enemy, you're getting ready to see that. I don't want to spoil for this dungeon. And it's just, it was really inconvenient. But hopefully that's not going to happen today. See, I, I really don't like messing with these guys. I just want to get them down and out of the way as quickly as I can. They're just annoying. They don't hurt your Pikmin, but they just... They're annoying. I mean, they, they really don't even... Kind of... They don't really disturb you too much in combat either. I mean, like, yeah, they take two Pikmin. Big deal. But they're just annoying. I mean, let's be real. Um, anyway, so... Let me see... What am I wanting to do? There he is. Okay, let's get out of here as quickly as we can. Now, here's my recommendation. Load this guy up on his head with purples. That's really one of the best ways you can do it. And just like that, we have more than half the damage done. Um, but I recommend you have all of your picking kind of behind you to where it's out of his reach. And just throw it on his head. And with that, you can actually finish him pretty quickly. Like, these guys, they used to be really difficult for me. But, I mean, once... I mean, once you get the hang of them, you can kill them pretty quickly, especially with purples. Even though they don't stun them, purples do a lot of damage. Um, that's my recommendation. Have all of your Pikmin out of his reach, like have them behind you and be throwing at him if that makes any sense. You don't want to have any any of them near his base. Um, that's the last thing you want to the last thing you want to do. Throw a purple over there. Okay, two blobs of nectar. That's pretty good. Uh, we are not going to flower up any Pikmin to the very end because we have some more candy pop buds over here. Another candy pop bud. Fantastic. And it's a purple! Cool! I, that's actually really good, considering that I could use some purples. Okay. Um, let's see, how many Pikmin do I have? Let's see, now, at this port... Uh, at, at this port... At this port in the video... At this part in the video, I was trying to figure out why I was showing that I only had 16, 18, 18, and 12 Pikmin. But then I realized that I didn't have all of them called in my group. So, I wanted to get a better idea of, like, how many Pikmin I had of each type. But I wasn't really thinking. But here I get I get back to my senses, and I realize that I have 25 and 30. So I'm gonna use yellows for this because we have fewer, because we have more yellows, and they're not as needed in this dungeon as the blues are. I'm so happy to get some more purple Pikmin. I mean, really, uh, purple Pikmin are great. I mean, I, I talk about how much I like white Pikmin because of their speed, but honestly, <clears throat> purple Pikmin, they're really cool. It really disappoints me that. I'm not gonna say a spoiler for the next game, never mind. Anyways, and right over here, it looks like we have another candy pop bud, except this time. It's a white candy pop bud. Oh, I'm happy. Okay, this time let's throw in. Uh, blues, I guess. I mean, I could really. We could throw in yellows, but. Let's throw in some blues. Would have been smarter to throw in yellows, but it's okay. Now that threw me for a loop because it looked like only four seeds come out, but every now and then it spits two of the seeds really close together, like those two leaves that are right over there. I mean, they're practically twins. Um, so I guess I just should talk about my summer a little bit, like what I actually plan on doing. I believe I have mentioned the trips that I'm taking, but that's kind of been changing recently. Um, so, things I plan on doing this summer. First thing, going to the beach for potentially an entire week. My family's going down on the 10th of June. And I'm going to be leaving, instead of leaving like at noon when they're leaving, I'm going to be leaving that evening. Because it's my, it's both me and my sister. Okay, this actually kind of threw me off guard. I didn't know that there was another one on this floor. I mean, I'd forgotten about that. I was like, whoa, hello, sir. Yeah, we're going to get our purples ready once again. Let's see, we're going to run away, keep everybody in the back of us. And there you go. This is, this is, the, like, this is the position you want to be at. Where you have all your Pikmin to your back. And we're gonna kill him as quickly as we can. He really should have killed a few of my Pikmin right there, but I beat him to it. And they will literally climb out of his jaw. He would have gotten three purples, which would have made me very sad. Um, but I'm gonna be leaving that evening for the beach instead, because both me and my sister have friends with birthdays that day that we don't wanna miss. Um, so we're gonna be leaving that evening. And I'm kind of excited, because, you know, like a four hour drive, like nine o'clock at night, that's gonna be pretty cool to the beach. I mean, roll down the windows, blast music, it's gonna be fun. But then again, I've never driven that much that late at night, so it'll, it'll also be an experience. I'll have to be careful in driving. Because I'm still a relatively unexperienced driver. Um, even though I've been driving for a couple of years now, I guess. 
Anyways, now that we've completely finished this floor, we've gotten all the treasures, defeated all the enemies, let's go ahead and flower our Pikmin. Because I don't believe there's any other candy pot buds for us to go through. And we really have spent a lot of time on this floor, not necessarily like getting treasures, but more or less just getting purple and white Pikmin and flowering them. We have one yellow back there who just didn't want to be flowered, and it really shows once we start moving fast. Okay, let's get him flowered. And there he goes. Okay. Alright, that's actually one thing that I wonder. Do Pikmin have genders? I guess they don't. I guess they're just Pikmin. I don't know. But, on that note, on that philosophical question, not really philosophical, just more of a question, I guess. Um, it could be philosophical, depending on what way you took it. We are 16 minutes into this video, and I don't feel that it would be a good idea to tackle sub-level 4 in this video without making it long. Um, I probably should, considering how long the next video is likely to be, but I'd like to keep this one out under 20 minutes. So, I think we're going to end it off here. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, let's play Pikmin 2. We will finish the Snag with Hole. Thank you guys for watching, again, I guess. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye, guys.